You're listening to What to Read Next podcast, episode number 11. Welcome to the What to Read Next podcast. This podcast is hosted by Lori Amin, a voracious reader of romance and young adult novels. In this podcast, she will share bite sized book reviews and book recommendations. We hope you enjoy it. Welcome to the What to Read Next podcast. Today, I want to chat about Book of the Month and their special offer of two books for the price of one in your first month. Book of the Month is a monthly subscription box that features five to six books each month for you to pick. These are hardcover new releases. The genres are little fiction, thrillers, and some young adult novels. There are debut novels and popular new releases. If you don't like the selections for the month, you can skip it up and you can you won't be charged. If you're interested in getting this great deal of two books for the price of one, then check it out at bit.ly book of the monthly. Now into today's show. I want to share one of my favorite sub Roman sub subgenre, which is hockey romances. I'll be honest, I'm not a hockey fan, but for some reason, sports romances are my favorite. And if they're hockey, they are so darn good that I can't put them down. I read about 25 books in this topic, so I have a wealth of knowledge, if you if you know what I mean. There are some there is something about the action-packed hockey games, the alpha heroes, and the sassy heroines that tame the, mm-hmm. tames him that fills up my cup, and I can't keep keep them up. They're so amazing. So here are some of my top favorite hockey romances in no particular order. First, the off-campus series by L. Kennedy. These are four books in the series, The Deal, The Mistake, The Score, and The Goal. This series follows four hockey players in Barrow University hockey team, so it's a collegiate hockey team. Each is steamy, antsy read. The heroes are soon worthy, and the heroines are sassy and strong women. My favorite couple is Logan and Grace from The Mistake. I really love this, this book. These are one of my top favorite Roman series of all time, so if you haven't picked them up, I strongly encourage you to do it. They're really good, and I just love Elle Kennedy's writing. I love her off-campus series. I love her favorite princess series, too, but off-campus series is by far my favorite series for her. Second, Brooklyn Bruises series by Serena Bowen. I've talked about this book before. I've talked about Brooklyn Air before. Um, I had a book review in episode number five. This is a series that I do enjoy a lot. There are four books in the series, Brooklyn Move, Hard Hitter, Pipe Dreams, and Brooklyn Air. The series follows three hockey players and the owner of the Brooklyn Bruises series, which is a pro hockey team. Both the heroes and heroines work in the Brooklyn Bruiser series team. There's a mix of hockey action, steamy romance, and if you enjoy the series of an honorable mention, you should check out the Ivy Years um, of the series, which is Serena Bowen's um, collegiate hockey team. Um, they do follow some of the players who end up making pro into Brooklyn Bruiser series. So if you're interested in the Brooklyn, um, there are, she mentioned there's actually another hockey team another hockey player he's featured in another book for Serena Bowen so if you have a chance to read Serena Bowen so you haven't done it before I strongly encourage you to read her books uh, I would start with the Ivy Years if it was my choice um, because they start with a clear hockey scene and then move out to Brooklyn Bristol series but if you don't have the patience to read nine books then start with Brooklyn Bristol series start with Rookie Move it's amazing it's a second chance romance um, between Leo and Georgia and it's amazing so Enjoy the Broken Brewster series by Serena Bowen. The third series is Pot by Helena Hunting. This is a series of six books. Pot, Pot Top, Pot Over, Forever Pot, Pot Under, Pot Off. This series follows five players of the Chicago Hawk team. This series is hilarious. It is so funny. The characters are out there quacky humor. Um, there's hockey action and it is steamy. But what sets it apart is the humor, sense of humor, the wacky things that the main characters get into. There's the seventh book coming up and it's one of the mysterious couples that have been around. They've been together since Pot. So it's, it'll be interesting to see their story. Um, I'm looking forward to that this year. So, But if you haven't read, if you're looking for a laugh out funny, um, I would suggest the reading Pot series by Helena Hunting. My fourth and final pick is the Carolina Cole Fury series by Sawyer Bennett. This is an 11 book series, and I'll tell you the names. Alex, Garrett, Zach, Riker, Hawk, Max, Roman, Lucas, Lynn, Reed, Marek. This series follows the players of the Carolina Cole Fury hockey team. We see the team going and winning the Stanley Cup a couple of times. Each book follows a, a player, and they fall in love with the sassy heroine. Um, there's a mix of heroines in this book from working with an organization, uh, like a museum, some single mothers, an ER doctor. Um, they all have they have jobs. It's kind of amazing to see they have their professional women who fall in love with hockey players. Some of the couples make an appearance in the later books, which is nice, so you get to see what's happening with them. They're really easy to read books, so if you do enjoy, if you're looking for a fun, easy romance to read, I would suggest the Carolina Cole Fury series is a great 
bookstores to read. If you're a fan of action and sports romance, I encourage you to check these books out. Most of these books are four to five star reads for me. I really like, you know, encourage you to take a chance. If you haven't done a hockey romance, take a chance for those. These are my favorite ones. I read a lot of hockey romance or adults, so these are by far the best hockey romances that I've read so far. So I hope you take a chance and give it a, give it a try. Thank you so much for listening to these book recommendations. Do you want me to feature a specific book recommendation or book for review? Then shoot me an email at joyfulshimmy.gmail.com. For more book reviews, book recommendations, please check out What to Read Next blog. There is a new podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so be sure to tune in. If you enjoyed this podcast, please consider leaving a review on iTunes. For this is the best way for this podcast to get discovered by new audiences. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have a fantastic day.